Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how to invoke or call a REST API within our uh, Oracle Visual Builder application. If you have not watched that video, please check out the video. I will give the link in the card section. In that video, we had seen how to transform the response from a REST API we are seeing over here uh, in the tabular fashion with the help of Oracle Visual Builder application. In this video, we will learn how to modify the existing table component, what you are seeing over here. So we will add two more columns in uh, this video by modifying the existing table. So we will add the independent status, that is uh, if a country, country is uh, independent or not, this information and the capital city name. I am here in the Visual Builder designer page. Before modifying a table, we have to go, go and check the type data, whether that fields are available in the type or not. Currently, in the type, we are having area, CCA3, name, population, UN member. So, you know, we, we need capital and independent variables uh, to be available uh, in this in the type. Okay. So, click on this edit from endpoint. Select this independent checkbox and check this capital. Once done, click on finish. Now, we are having the capital and independent elements in the get all response okay which will be used in get all list sdp this is the same variable which we are using to populate this data table okay if you go to this uh, data by clicking on the table over here you can see that page dot variable dot get all list sdp this variable is created at the page level okay now once done one method is clicking on this table columns and clicking on new empty column this is one of the methods and uh, we can do it with the help of UI itself. And one more method is with the help of this code. We can go over here code and directly write our code. I am clicking this edit column, clicking on new empty column. I am giving the text as independent. I am copying independent element name from the JSON response in a postman and pasting it over here. Just about, I will refresh the preview. As you can see, now uh, our independent details are uh, listed over here. Uh, we can see one of the countries like French Polynesia is uh, uh, not yet independent uh, and uh, they're like uh, territory of uh, Christmas Island and all. So, those information we can uh, retrieve now. Now, uh, we have seen how we can add data with the, from the UI. That is by clicking on this. Now we will learn how to add from the code. For that, I am minimizing this so that we get the bigger uh, window to modify. First of all, I am copying this. We can copy the last segment from here in the array. Copy this and paste it over here. Now I am changing this to capital. Here I am putting copying this value from the JSON response and uh, providing over here. Okay, we are done. Now I am over here. I will uh, refresh this preview page. As you can see, now we are having uh, information for capital as well. For Kenya, the capital is the Nairobi. So, all those details we can retrieve from the UI itself. Like this, we can modify any existing uh, table component in Oracle Visual Builder and modify the table columns uh, from the UI as well as from the code. Thank you for joining us in this video.